This compost bin has shifted a little bit since I built it. This wall is just leaning a little bit outward now. So the boards that slip into this groove right here no longer fit. The top boards just miss a little. So I'm going to add some scrap to the outside to remedy that on this side and on this other side. This two by two was originally a tree stake. I'm not sure what this was left over from, but it's been hanging around my shop for a little while. To get an accurate measurement, all I'm gonna do is line it right up and draw my line. Now that this bin is empty, I'm going to fill it again. Just like last year, I'm going to use what I muck out of the chicken coop. But unlike last year, I'm going to layer it this time. With material from this other bin. This material is primarily spent hay and goat poop from our bucks. I think it will make an excellent combination for composting with the old bedding from our chicken coop. I'm not gonna do that job right now. I've got other things on my plate. It's hot, dusty, hard work. So I'm gonna take my time with it and spread it out over a few days just to make it easy on myself. Speaking of hot, dusty, hard work, I recently mucked out this goat stall. That was a job that I spread out over several days too. I didn't shoot any video of it, mostly because I'm embarrassed by how deep we let it get in here. Now all that's left is for me to spread out the cedar shavings for our goat bedding. What are you thinking to go? Thank you. 
in a previous video, I mentioned I was waiting for these trees close to the house to die back before I finally take them down. Well, this one has definitely finally given up the ghost, so it's time for it to go. New goat bedding and a tree to eat. What a bunch of lucky goats.
I've got a bucket of sawdust here. I'm gonna add some wood ash from our fire pit to replenish the dust bath in our chicken run. That wasn't very much dust for the dust bath. I ended up adding more sawdust along with some diatomaceous earth. DE is a safe and natural way to prevent parasites. I did end up getting a head start rotating this compost today after all. My plan had been to rotate more of the compost from this bin into the other bin today, but I got down to layers of compost that were almost ready to use. The material deeper in the bin composts more vigorously that's one reason to rotate it into a new bin. I didn't want to waste the prime composting zone of this bin on material that was already almost fully composted. So I've started adding fresher material from our bucks enclosure. This shorter handled pitchfork is a much better tool than this more standard pitchfork for this job. As compacted as this old hay is, it's more like digging than just pitchforking. So this tool has much more heavy duty spikes and the ability to just dig right in like a shovel. <laughs> 